Now, a new battle for the skies has broken out. This time, you can say no thanks to no frills. The transatlantic airlines offer full-on luxury. Indeed, they cater only for business class. But can they really offer the kind of rate we could afford? Or would the whole attraction of business fade completely if there was no one in cattle class behind the curtain? Matthew Morris has been to find out. Leaving Essex for the Big Apple, Maxjet, a new business class only carrier. Hoping to take off in a big way, watched every step by the big boys who know all about airline price wars. Flight number one, Stansted to New York. No cattle class here. Cheers. <laughs> I think there is a, it is a niche market and there is room for everybody. For us, just to get over to New York for a weekend, it was reasonably priced. These seats have double the legroom of those you'd see in economy. There's the usual business class drink service, gourmet meals back there. There's even a chef's pantry. There's real hope and expectation that these seats will fill up. But will it actually happen? Absolutely. I've had, I've been, had meetings here with over 60 CEOs in this area who are very, very excited about this service because even though they want the transatlantic service, we bought it in affordable. The idea is to fill a gap. You can fly to New York before Christmas on Virgin from around £380 economy, including taxes. If you want business class, what about a BA club ticket from around £1,900? But now Maxjet wants £854 for its business class seat. You wait years for luxury airlines, two come along at once. Last month, EOS launched a daily New York round-trip service. Planes have just 48 seats that recline into flat beds. First-class indulgence from around £2,500. Can both companies survive? Every airline loses money from day one, and the sorts of products that we're seeing and the price of aviation fuel means this is going to be an extremely expensive experiment. Back at the champagne-free economy check-in desk, any takers? It's still too much for us, definitely. If you can fly to America for £300, you know, for paying £800, £900 for a flight, still doesn't really seem to make financial sense to me. Today's flight left just about on time before its competitor took off from JFK, a new rivalry in the skies. Matthew Morris, BBC London News.